Ladies and gents, welcome back to my coverage of Football Manager Blog's RB Leipzig save. I just wanted to point out that I know that RB Leipzig is a rather controversial choice. With a huge amount of money coming into the club through new owners, and something like this not really having been done before, at least in this light in the Bundesliga, I know how controversial it is. And more history for those that don't know about RBL's story. Loads of supporters and people thought of RB Leipzig as being nothing more than an advertising tool for the Red Bull company, which is why they're not big fans of this team whatsoever. That they're basically trying to push the traditional clubs out of German football and bring this style of money rules kind of football to all these types of clubs. And that they're simply in the business of football to just basically be that, just a business. They don't care about the grassroots football, they don't care about anything else other than money that all the other clubs do actually care about. Money is the all-important factor. But as for me and why I did such a controversial save, I really actually did want to see how Keita and friends will do this season and how much he will be missed next season. And I, I mean, they did come in second. I really wanted to see if I could knock Bayern off their perch. And I mean, it's, it's an interesting save to do. Whether it's controversial or not, it gets people talking, I guess. I hope this won't put anybody off from watching. And if you have any ideas you want to see in the squad or anything, please drop a comment and let me know. I mean, let me know your thoughts. I really do want to see this to be as much of your save as it is mine. Anyway, last time saw us pathetically draw St. Gallen in a fairly boring friendly. I'm sorry I had to bring you that, but I wanted to bring you something during the preseason, and that's, that's what we had. Hopefully this match will be a little livelier. Well, right? Please? I did say that I was going to bring you the Karlsruhe match in this video, but since it was our first foray into the German Cup against a low-level team, I thought I might as well skip that and just move straight into our first ever league match. But first, the normal ins and outs. So, let's see. We have a couple of things to talk about before we get to this Hamburg match. Uh, I believe this is the first... Oh, let's go to the schedule, thank you very much. Yep, the first, uh, the first Bundesliga game we will be playing. As you can see, we pretty much romped the entire the friendly season. 0-0 to St. Gallen, you saw us play, but 4-1 over Oberlausitz. 4 over Vincenza. 3-2 over Pisa. 5-0 over Messina. And then we did win in the German First Cup. 2-0 against Karlsruhe. I was going to bring you that game, decided against it, simply because I think it'd be better. It's a lower league team. Might as well just bring you our first game, our first competitive match in the Bundesliga itself. So that would be against Hamburg. I'm going to skip the Bayern match for right now. It is a home match. Uh, I will probably bring you the, le the away match just because that's going to be a pain. And I'm still getting used to all this. Tactically, all I found... Is the 4-2-3-1 wide is the one that works. 4-1-2-3 DM and the 4-4-2 I have failed miserably every time. You know, the first half I'll play in one of these new ones, try something else out. It did not work. And then I just changed to the 4-2-3-1 and I just smoked the, the opponent. So, so that's what I'm going to be using. Let's get into transfers. We've had some activity. Marvin Comper, I swear to God, this dude is pissing me off. I've tried, you know, he, he, I've thrown him, I'm trying to throw him out the door, basically. He's got three offers, none of which he's actually signed anything with. And it's getting me annoyed. The one that we did have come in, I will show you, is not here. A few moments later. So, ladies and gents, I don't know why he's not showing up on our transfer list, but I did bring in Matthias Delit from Ajax. Now this is where it gets a little screwy. It says that I brought him in for 19 million pounds. I did not bring him in for 19 million pounds, and I'm not really sure why it says that. The offer itself was 11 and a half million right up front, and then some add-ons, which brought it up to 13 and a half million. No clue on the 19. That's it's a little weird, but so basically we're kind of screwed in the transfer market. We have one, not even one and a half million left. With Comper going out, if he ever freaking leaves, he will bring in another million, I think. So, as you can see, you know, Lazar Markovic, we could, I'm trying to look at for one million up front. Um, same for Justin Kluver. Uh, so, I mean, we'll see. There's still some transfer activity that could happen, but nothing set in stone as of yet. So, AC Milan secured Gruyuk, so that's not going to work. Um, Bits or injury. That's okay. So 
Marcel Savitzer has gone out for injury. Uh, he has got a damaged cruciate limit, ligament and is out six to nine months. So that is why I was looking at Bruyck and Kluver. Uh Obviously, I was using him on the right attacking mid side, and that really throws my world into a funk, um, simply because he and Bruma on the left were gonna be my guys. Uh, so I'm gonna have to figure. I'm gonna have to figure that out. So I gotta bring in another attacking mid right. Will Orban will be my captain. Diego Deme will be my vice captain. So we're gonna keep it the same as has been. And there are your captain and vice captain for the 2017-18 season. BMGC Copper Deal. Can for the love of God, thank you. So 975 back in the kitty. Um, it doesn't give us any room. But, ooh, I got an achievement. You don't see the achievement. So Deme has to. You may wish to consider. So why is So apparently uh, this is going to be difficult. Why bother even going to the captain anymore? I was expecting an FM17 like going to Willie Orban, say, hey, do you mind just chatting with him? Him either saying, yeah, sure, I'll, I'm happy to help. Come back with either, oh, yeah, it's resolved, or no, it's not, you got to talk to him. Now it's actually a matter where he's going to basically say, yeah, I'm happy to do it, or f*** you, dude, get out of my face. That's not going to be pleasing. So, okay, well... We messed that up. Uh, let's talk to Demi. This doesn't have to be a big issue, yet just disappointed that you felt it necessary to sell Comper. He was the leader in the locker room and he will be missed. I have every confidence a player such as Matthias Slade step in and replace him and we have good opportunities to... That's a good point. The youngsters are the future of this club. I'll give them a chance. Whew. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, don't trust my captain anymore. Son of a... What is going on? Where's Kalashi? Gula, Gula, whatever. F***ing hell, whatever the hell he's name is. He's suspended. How long is he f***ing suspended for? Four matches. Oh my lord, you guys are killing me. Circle Torti starts in goal. Not my first choice by any stretch of the imagination. Halstenberg, Grupo Meccano, Delight gets his first start ever and he can only play about 75 minutes or before he goes down with an injury. Klosterman on the right. Keita and Koppel in the midfield. Forsberg, Kaiser, Bruma in the attacking section, and Augustine is in the front. Leaving the line. This is... I don't know what's going to happen. They're lacking in that sharpness, but I literally have nobody else. And I have a feeling I'm going to be sacked pretty soon. <laughs> so, okay. Let's get to the tunnel. I hate the tunnel. I bother the tunnel. Let's get this match going. So, Leverkusen. Leverkusen. Omborg are in red, while RBL are in blue. This is going to be an interesting one. We already have four injuries on the the team sheet. It's hey, stop, calm down, stop complaining. Okay, so Kampel picks up the steal out to Bruma. is a great pass. Who can't seem to get it into a player, but at least it's back to our ball. So Kaito. Brings it out to the left. Is he gonna? Nope, he gets tackled. What the hell was that? I really gotta find a, a good gem for the attacking right. Move, uh, move Bruma back to the left. Move Forsberg back to the center. Because our team is just. I mean, nobody has played in any of these roles except for Augustine from throughout the entire friendly season, so. Forsberg boots it over to, to Bruma, who does get a head into Polish back, but that's, we're going to have to get a little more creative than that. And that's a low kick. So that did nothing. Sakai is one that I had on, I think, FM 16. That he was my, he was my uh, fullback. But I had to keep him up. Oh, thank God. But 
he was a good fullback. He wasn't stellar, but he was a good, solid fullback that I just had to keep on the bench if I wasn't going to be playing in the first team. So, so Forsberg shot on goal. Not a great shot on goal. There was no real room for that to go anywhere except to the goalkeeper, but at least we're getting some chances here. And then... Okay, wow. Half time it is. So, Uwe Makano won back possession more than anyone else. He also lost possession more than anyone else. Moved well into the attacking third of the pitch from the left. So, Bruma's doing well. Bruma is a stellar player, I gotta say. There is no reason not to pick up Bruma, unless it's uh, money-wise. You know, I've been playing this game for a while, and I'm not great at all by any stretch of the imagination. But people coming in for the first time who are interested in soccer and interested in management programs, oh great. Bosterman will be yellow? Give him a yellow? No, yeah, okay. Um, but anyone interested in a management program, but maybe not this, is it's a tough ask for someone new. And it's one things I one of the things I hate about you know SI uh, and the makers of this game is that they they don't think about things like that. You, they think oh people are going to come in and they're going to get you know pick it up easily, but I mean, it's definitely not the case. Uh, Klosterman brings it up to Bruma, over to Koppel, up to Kaiser, who gets it stolen away. Um, so I. Come on. Really? Wow. That was just horrifically poor. I don't want to bring in if I don't have to. And I got no center backs. How did I not put a center back? Wow. That was a great move on my part, huh? So, I apologize. This uh, has not been the greatest of episodes. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a lot of stuff I need to work on in this team. Uh, I mean, Delight, Delight is 73% with 20 minutes to go. I'm already worried about injury. We're now at three yellow cards. There's their goal. There it is. Philip Kostic. Well, um, the lights at 70, 69%. I mean, there's not a lot I can do. But I mean, are we down to 10 men? Because it really seems like we're down to 10 men. Augustine up for the run. It's off the keeper, so it's a it's out for a corner, but... He was, he was tracked down pretty quickly, though. So, nobody can get it. So, Bobby Wood's the only person out there. So, Kaba up to Augustine. Oh! Just a bit offside. Just a bit wide. Just a bit wide. We're still got, we still have nine shots, three on target. I mean, not what we've been doing in the, the preseason at all. But this is a team in need of some help. And I'm not sure if I can do it. So we will keep on trying. And that's full time. We lose to Hamburg 1-0. 10 shots, 3 on target. Uh, Delight gets our best performer. So for his first game, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, that is not good for the rest of us. I'm not happy with the performance out there. Yeah, pretty much. So... So, RBL fall to late defeat. De, uh, Delight Delit makes his debut. Assistant. So, uh, next time you will, I will show you the Champions Cup draw, and we will get to another game or so. And hopefully, maybe I've made another dip into the transfer market. But only time will tell. Thank you, as always, for watching. Take care, and enjoy. Enjoy.